Yo, what's up? It's Patrick Starr. Welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell from the title, it's my laser hair removal. Y'all wondering if this is my, my real voice. Um, it's not because I'm cracking. Um, if y'all want to see this video, if you like these videos, uh, subscribe to my channel, all right? Hey guys, it's Patrick Starr. So I wanted to film a hair laser removal. So today I'm going with my girlfriend to this You hear that? Anyways, so I have a mirror in my hair. Let me look. Hey guys, so today I'm doing laser hair removal on my face. I wanted to take you guys along with me today because a lot of you guys are interested. Someone texting me. But anyways, um, yeah, I wanted to take you guys along with me. I was debating on whether or not to get laser hair removal because um, I was debating because I was like, do I wanna? Do I wanna be masculine? Do I? want to keep my facial hair do i not so then eventually i just got fed up with it because every time like if you guys didn't know i was shaving my face like literally every day i still do but as you can see so this is my third time getting laser hair removal so the first time i just wanted to do the bottom because every time i would shave um it would get so bumpy and lumpy and textured and then i was doing a lot of photo shoots like i did my nyx photo shoot i did my benefit photo shoot and then i did my formula x photo shoot and these are all in like huge stores and the one thing that i was super insecure about was like my texture you know i don't sport facial hair um so my texture was looking crazy and then but of course you know with retouching and the smooth filter on um face tune you know we got that but um for me um in filming videos i got a new camera it's just so hd it's just so hd and that's it's just one thing i wanted to take care of anyways i hope i'm not rambling too much i always get so insecure on youtube when i ramble just because it's not entertaining but i'm gonna calm down i'm gonna chat with you guys um but i'm here so anyways i did my laser hair removal here the first time at one center um by santa monica and that hurt like a bitch and then but it really helped and then the second time uh, which was last month i did my whole face not my whole face but like my whole bearded area um that was the second time and it really helped as you can see now i don't know if you can tell i'm gonna try to, i'm gonna try to zoom in i'm here like in front of a mirror and i turn the brightness way down so you can see the texture but i don't know if you guys can see it but it's super patchy but it's smooth which means that the laser is working so the laser worked here and there are still some coarse 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 hairs on this side i've explained it before it kind of feels like a match like a being put out on your skin like tss, tss, tss. and i will show you today and i will um yeah i haven't vlogged in forever what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to shave and take a shower i'm gonna shave i'm gonna go to the, the laser center i'm gonna take you guys with me and then you will see how the process is done subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you want if you don't want to let me know down below um but yeah you'll see how it's done hello so this is the camera that i'm using really quick this is the sony a6000 a6300 6300 6300 this is the one that i'm using it has a really cool autofocus look it focuses on my bed it focuses on the camera it focuses on the bed focuses on something. Uh, the 5100 has a, a good autofocus too, but that one has a screen that flips up. This is great for Instagram um, videos, Instagram pictures. A lot of people use this. This is a camera. I will have a link down below if you guys want to get it. Let's just go to the damn laser center. Okay. So we are here at the Flawless Laser Center. Come gorgeous. Lee Flawless. This is the information. Screenshot it. It's really cool. Hi. But I came in um, and they have pretty much the prices. Um, she just told me that the prices change. So this pretty much answers all your questions. Go ahead and pause the video. But this is pretty much the prices for January. And they change every first of the month. So you can call the phone number um, and see uh, what the prices are. Or go on their Instagram. But this is pretty much the prices for the month of January. This is the laser. I have Jana here. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> I have Jana here at Flawless Laser, so we're gonna do this. But she explained to me um, here uh, with any laser that you would um, not plug or irritate the skin. For me, I just exfoliate because when you get the laser, the hair is the, the follicle is dead. So um, you either let it just grow out or um, 
it falls out on its own within like two weeks. And you want to get laser treatments every four to six weeks. So I got mine about five weeks ago, six weeks ago. So I'm here, I'm going to do my face. If you have time, I'll do my arms. But um, if you're interested, here's the video. So she put on some fancy goggles <clears throat> on me. Hopefully you guys can see it. And we're going to start the laser. All I have, by the way, is moisturizer on my face. Pretty much thinner mm -hmm. on this area. Probably when I'm like this my chin. So what are you doing now? So we're gonna do the arms next. We're making little Cute. lines and separating the areas so we don't miss any spots. Cute. Is it hurting you? Yeah. Shout out to Nyx. Nyx pencil from Marking My Eyes. But yeah, you guys, that's all good. Like, my face feels great. Um, the chin area, like, like I said before, if there's more coarse hair, then it's more... I guess painful. That's the word I was looking for. If if it's more coarse, then it's more painful. But my my hair was has been thinning out on my under area here. But this seems to be a little bit more painful. But I will say the first time I ever got it done, if you consider it, and you have very very coarse, thick, lumpy, bumpy skin with thick hair, it's gonna hurt. All right, so I'm back home. I will say. I wish I had taken you on this vlog um, the first and second time, but I will say the first and second time I ever got it, my laser hair removal, it was blistering, not blistering, it was just very, very irritating because the follicle was so thick. I'm going to insert some pictures and photos here of examples that I found on Google of what my skin looked like. It felt really, really, really bumpy. It looked like severe... Uh, razor bumps like I had like it was so 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 crazy crazy bumpy that um, I don't know what to do so I'm saying I got a facial and I would get facials and then my facialist at Yoli Glow she's amazing she does extraction so she would extract actually the ingrown hairs that would just stick in there because it's really important I feel for me to take them out so they're not just stuck in the skin because they're just in the skin dead so you don't want them to just be in there dead blocking your pores from breathing which causes another pimple so for the most part i had a lot a lot of breakouts like little pussy pimples so this is what my skin looks like up close i want you guys to see uh, if you guys want to get it check out flawless laser i listed the prices the location uh, i know on groupon they have great deals if you don't happen to be in los angeles but definitely check it out it's worth a try and it's a decision that i've wanted to do just because i'm doing a lot more hd stuff on youtube and photo shoots and i want to just look good um so skin is like one thing that i have wanted to do so if you guys like these vlogs please let me know it's been a while i feel so weird vlogging talking to you guys but if you guys like these types of videos let me know happy new year and i will see you guys in my next video be sure to subscribe bye